All right, welcome back to the channel, Max Torno here. And in this video, I wanna talk about how to build a five to six figure a month business. Uh, if you're not new to this channel, if you've been watching more stuff, you already know that most of the time I talk about building a four to five figure business. And just recently, someone reached out to me on Instagram and said, well, Max, how can I build a five to six figure business? The answer is very simple. I'm gonna give you the short answer and then I'm gonna give you the long answer. The short answer is, while any business, almost any business that you scale to four to five figures a month, you first do that and then you scale it to five to six figures a month. If it works for four to five figures a month, all you have to do is double down on the right processes, scale it up, right? And then you, boom, you have a five to six figure a month business. That's the short answer. The long answer is a little bit more uncomfortable to hear. So if you're watching this right now and you like the idea of, okay, building yourself a freedom business as an online coach, as an online service provider, and you wanna say, okay, I wanna make around 100K a month, 200K a month, 300K a month, and beyond that, how can I do that? You know, you're thinking big, maybe you're not okay with just making nine, eight, nine K a month. You wanna think bigger, that's cool, this video is for you, but it will be a little uncomfortable to watch that, all right? Also, on this channel, this is not a quick fix type channel with a lot of cuts and funny memes to keep your attention now. This is a little bit of a ranty video if you can't maintain focus for long enough. Please go ahead, watch a motivational video by some guru out there. That is totally fine, I don't care, all right? But anyways, let's get back to the topic. Anything that works for four to five figures a month probably works for five to six figures a month. You just have to scale, all right? Usually what we do with our clients, if they come to us from scratch, from zero, zero business experience, we say, okay, let's get you the first 10K a month. That's like the first baseline, the first milestone. And then beyond that, we can scale you up. It is not no rocket science to get you to your first 10K a month. It is no rocket science to have you stay there consistently. You have to put in the work. It's a boring mundane process, but it's a proven process and it works. Now, that's not the issue. Right? I, in fact, prefer people that come to us with zero experience many times because they come to us as a completely empty vessel, okay? They're like, I know nothing, help me out, how can I do this, I'm willing to execute. That's great, that's one of the best mindsets to have, to admit to yourself that you know nothing. And that's not a bad thing, you know? There's many things I don't know anything about. I don't know how to do jiu-jitsu, right? And by the time I do get a jiu-jitsu coach, I'm gonna tell them I know nothing, you know? Teach me and I'll, I shall execute. The problem is when people come to us and they're already making some money, right? Chances are high that you're already making some money if you're thinking about five to six figures a month. And the problem is they come to us and we're like, where are you right now? And they're like, oh, I'm making some money. I'm making 10K a month, 20K a month. How can I get to 100K or and so on and so forth? And we're like, okay, this is the process. Let's change this, let's change that, execute. And they're like, oh, no, no, no. That's not how it works. I'm doing it like this. And we're like, yeah, you're doing it like this, which got you to your first 10K a month or whatever. You have to drop this, you have to do this now. And they're like, no, that's not how it works. And that's a big problem, right? Why? Well, you can't fill a vessel that is already full, full of whackness, full of BS, right? You might've heard the phrase, um, what got you here won't get you there. Okay, what got you to making some money right now is probably the very thing that you're gonna have to drop at some point in order to go beyond that. Okay, again, if you wanna build a business to your first 10K a month, all you have to do is then to scale that. But that process of scaling means you still need to be open-minded for the next things. The problem is though that us as human beings, we have an ego, right? Especially when we make the first amount of money. Right? We have an ego that goes along with it. We identify ourselves with that. I'm making good money now, which means I must know a thing or two. But that is very, very toxic and a big, big problem. I actually talked about this just yesterday with some of my clients. This is very difficult to handle. Try to understand the following. Once you're making an amount of money that you regard as quote unquote good money, you're in huge danger because at that point, you're gonna think, oh, I'm good, I know a lot of things, and that very ego keeps you from actually scaling up to five to six figures a month or from six to seven figures a month. That very ego is a huge issue. Okay, I'm gonna give you a personal anecdote. With my very first business, the dating advice business, I had already made, I think, two or three million within two years. I was doing fairly well. Most of my income was passive, it was just me. I didn't have a team, I didn't have a nice office, none of these things, it was just me working from Airbnbs, having a good time. And my back then mentors or soon to be mentors reached out to me and said, 
would you like to make more money? Now, me liking money, I was of course, yeah, hell yeah, I'll make money, right? I wanna make more money. So we got on a consulting call, uh, they started consulting me, I started getting on board with their mentoring, and in the first weeks, they would be like, you have to do these things. And I'm like, oh no, that's not how it works, right? I literally fell into the exact same issue. That's not how it works. What I usually do is the following, and they're like, yeah, we understand, you have to drop this. In fact, no, that's not even how they said it, okay? They, my mentors are very harsh. They would call me very bad names. We're not gonna do that now because of the YouTube algorithm. They basically say, hey, you're full of BS, you know nothing, you know, shut the F up and go do what we say. And they kind of penetrated through my ego over the first couple of days of working with them until I realized, you know what, Max? Maybe you should go back to where you were in the very, very beginning admitting that you actually knew nothing. Because back then, Max, when the, once you admitted you know nothing about business, you actually earned your first couple million. So that's good. And over the time, Max, without you really realizing it, slowly but steadily, you've built an ego around you being the great entrepreneur with the dating advice. And now you have the first per people that are not yes sayers, that are actually confronting you, calling your own BS out, now you having your ego involved, go back to the beginning, Max, where you know you know nothing. And once I did that, all of a sudden I opened myself up to the new expertise of people that are where I want to go, that are already making more money. Only then I opened myself up and I actually, it actually allowed me to scale ridiculously and literally make five times more money than I was making back then. All right, but I had to overcome that issue. I had to drop what brought me there. Okay, I'm gonna give you another metaphor in a second. But before I forget, check out my Instagram account. I wanna give a big shout out to my own Instagram account. Why is that important? Because on there, I'm posting daily value. I'm doing almost weekly live streams. I'm doing uh, Instagram Q and A's. And most importantly, I reply to DMs, right? So if you wanna ask me something personally about business, lifestyle, and so on and so forth, about building a business from scratch, about your specific situation, how you can get started, send me a DM. I try to reply to everything. You know, As much as I can, I will reply to. So I'm gonna show my Instagram account right now link in the description as well, uh, go give a follow, I would appreciate that. Now, that being said, imagine it like, like, like the following. Imagine you have to go cross a country, right? You have to, you have to deliver something from, from city A to city B, right? And you have to choose your vehicle. And you're in city A right now and you look out the window, maybe you're on a tower, you look out the window and you see the terrain over the next 50 kilometers and you're like, okay, terrain is fairly flat, I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose the truck, right? So you go step in your truck and you drive and you drive in the direction, right? You have the GPS, all is good. And slowly but steadily, the terrain gets a little rougher. You know, the roads get smaller, terrain gets rougher. All of a sudden you see there's, there's smaller cliffs that you have to get up. Well, what are you gonna do? Are you trying to drive the, the truck up the cliffs? No, you realize, okay, maybe this part of the journey, I have to go by foot, right? You have to step out of the truck Take the package in your hands and go by foot, so you can cross. Uh, so you can cross the uh, the cliffs, right? Or you can say, you know, there's water, right? Now you have to change the truck into a boat, right? Oh, there's a boat. Let me take that boat, right? Imagine how ridiculous it would be if you're sitting in there and you're like, well, that's not how it works, because until now I've been using the truck, meaning. I gotta take the truck now through the water and off you drive into the water with the truck. It's not gonna work. What got you here won't get you there. You have to swallow your pride. You have to get rid of your ego and say, okay, maybe I don't have experience with this new waterway or with getting over these cliffs. I have to let go of what brought me here. This is the very biggest issue that I see with most people making good enough money right? The enemy of really good is good enough. Most people come to us that are already making some money they have a choice. And that choice is, do they hold on to what brought them there? And do they continue to, to see themselves in that egoic manner of like, I'm already making money, I know everything better? Which means they're gonna have a very hard time actually scaling. Or do they say, all right, what brought me here is great, it's all fantastic, I probably knew enough to get to this point, I admit myself that I don't know how to get further, or maybe I think I know, but I'm not sure, right? So let me, empty my vessel of all the ideas and be open to new suggestions of a proven path that gets me to five to six figures or beyond six figures and so on and so forth. It gets me beyond what I'm making right now. This is the biggest issue 
of people that are already making some money. So if you're watching that right now, you know, maybe you're commuting somewhere, maybe you're sitting at home, you're watching this on your smartphone or on your, on your laptop, ask yourself right now, what preconceived notions have helped you, right? What knowledge, what, what lessons have helped you to get where you are right now, all right? And what do you need to learn in order to get beyond that? Because I'm gonna tell you another very dirty truth. If you already knew how to make more money than what you're making right now, you would already have it. So now you can do two things. You, would keep, you can keep lying to yourself and say, oh, I already know, I already know, I already know. And look back three months from now, right? Look back and say, well, I haven't really gotten to the point where I want to be. Poor me, this sucks. And you realize that you've made a mistake. Or you save yourself these months or sometimes even years and say, okay, what got me here? won't get me there. Maybe I have to get out of the truck. Maybe I have to switch to the boat, right? And see where I can go. Empty your vessel, be open to suggest to, for, for new proven paths, right? That suggest you where you need to go, all right? And that is how you build a five to six figure business. It was a little bit more meta, it was a little bit more mindset, right? But all of our clients that we've scaled from beyond 10K a month to 25K a month, 50K a month, 100K, 150K a month, those were all clients that either understood from the very beginning, all right, what got me here won't get me there, or these were clients that we had to break down first, all right? We had to detoxify them from the wrong type of thinking that kept them from growing, right? But eventually they got there, all right? But they all have in common that they had to let go of their ego, had to let go of their preconceived notions, and were willing to execute something and just trust the proven path, all right? A little bit of a ranty video, like I said, totally understand that, all right? Now when you say, this sounds great. Five to six figures a month is something I would like to have, right? I would like to scale my business. I'd like to know more about these things. And you can literally book a free consulting call either with me directly or with an expert from our team. I'm gonna put a link in the description or a link that appears somewhere here right now. You click that link, right? And on that page, you can book a free consulting call. Once you click on that link, I want you to, I want you to read what's on that page, okay? And at the bottom of the page, you can fill out the application form, it takes you two minutes, and then you can book the exact date and time where you want us to call you. Call is entirely for free, even if it's international, don't worry. So, if you're already making some money, but you wanna scale to the next level, that call is definitely for you, right? But also, if you've just watched this out of interest and you're not making any money online as an online coach, as an online service provider yet, you still like the idea of you know getting started then that call is for you as well but even for the off chance that you like the idea of being free as an online coach but you have no clue what it is that you could be offering people that call is for you as well we can analyze your strengths okay we're experts in that we can uh, look at your exact specific situation we can tell you what exact model fits well for you um like i said call in the description you have to take action if the link still works it means we still have a spot open Channel is getting bigger and bigger. That's great, right? Get great for me, I love it, right? If you're new, welcome, all right? Uh, channel is getting more and more people watching this, which means if the link still works, it means we still have a spot open for you because more and more people are jumping on the opportunity of that free consulting call. That is how you scale your business. Maybe talk to you very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye. What is up, Max? I just want to make a short video to tell how grateful I am with choosing you as a mentor. So I really want to thank you because with your help, I made in one month over 36k.